So, production launch for Thomas. We're doing one of the projects that we had booked a few weeks back. The shutters. A few months. A few months, yes, yes, exactly, a few months. Thomas's second job book we're producing right now. And then I'm painting the shutters. Let's get it. What is up, YouTube? Tuesday morning, set up crew one at 7 a.m. They're doing a deck. It's a beautiful dead weather. So we're doing a second deck right here. Again, this is a book project. Let's check it out. We're sanding it and then we're gonna paint it. For this week, we are setting up team two to be a bit more delegated. So teaching them how to work uh, efficiently. Then next week, it's gonna be more on the delegation side, letting them go, letting them collect payments, all the good stuff. So that's really cool. This afternoon, we have a fence estimate. Hopefully that goes through. Uh, the client's been very busy because they've been doing work inside of the house and they can't be inside of the house so it's weird but he really want to book he really wants to book me because i did work with him last year I, actually for the rest of the week there's gonna be a lot of fun stuff friday i, I have a little party and saturday we got a payroll event at a at an operator's house for a pool party so uh, for the most part it's a, it's a fun week that's what we're gonna achieve so if everything goes well this week and the following week for the payroll that just started uh we should be producing roughly about twenty five thousand dollars, which puts us at thirty five thousand dollars produced and we're sold at about 116 pretty much a quarter of the business is going to be produced which is like fantastic on a production side though that just means that we have a lot more capacity to produce more work in the future so our goal this year is to really do great numbers and i need to push in more sales that's really it catch you guys to it let's get it sanding is complete alex what do you think not bad not bad, not bad for exactly all of these planks are getting painted andrew say hi and he's just gonna broom up the floor here. Yeah, let's get it. Little update. So they're still doing the deck. It's looking amazing. Lick and Andrew giving me an update that they're pretty much done with a, with some stuff. We're at the point now, if we get our second team started, we're gonna be focusing on getting some more jobs for them. So right now I'm, I'm sitting on the sidelines here, pretty much going back and forth doing some calls. And I'm calling in leads that I know had projects back in like February, March, that they were pushing them back when the time gets better. Which is a very nice weather right now so we're calling them up because some of those people aren't answering their phones and why not because they were just busy during day uh during the night times now during the day you call them and you try to get them on the phone on the phone so a lot of people who haven't been answering call them up at different times it works great so that's it i'll talk to you guys soon thomas say hi justin what up beautiful deck done by thomas's team semi stain got the fence there done it looks as good as Sickens, by the way. It's crazy. I'm not joking. Dark oil stain. Looks clean. Look at that. I'm really happy with Tomas's first project. Client's super happy. Let's get it. What is up, YouTube? Just wanted to let you guys know. So we're still Tuesday. We had painting all day. We've been up since 7. And right now, it's like 7.30. Booking some work. Just wanted to let you guys know that this is the most beautiful month to go and sell some work. If uh, you're about to hit your goal, Go and knock on some doors and get some work in. Let's get it. There you have it. So we booked that job. I had to cut the, sh the, the clip short because the client waved at me and uh, it was the wife. I hadn't seen her. They're super sweet. We, so we booked it, $1,500. Easiest sell of my life just because I did great work with them the year before. So for those who want to come back next year, do good work. Now it's like 8.05 and uh, I'm going to go read a book and uh, on the walk. So we changed the fitness goal and we changed to walking. I've been getting bored on walks to the point where I, I literally just like, I, I get bored. So now it's like, it's eventful to know that I'm going on a walk to go read a book. That's basically it for now. That's the day of the operator. Wake up, got some projects, collected a payment, sell some more work. Now read a book, eat after this and sleep and wake up early. Let's get it. What is up guys? Wednesday, 6 a.m. It sounded like I just woke up, which I did like, 20 minutes ago it's roughly around 6 a.m right now and i'm gonna be trying to wake up a lot earlier in the next days in the next weeks too the reason is because i noticed that like after a long day production i come back home and there's not a lot of admin work that i want to be doing when i'm exhausted like physically i'm feeling like getting all this admin work done in the morning so when i come home some of these things are get taken care of the first thing is the youtube video i haven't posted a week 17 yet and we're wednesday super i don't feel good about that like it's not what we're supposed to do we're supposed to post on sundays uh the thing is like i've been trying to find a way 
to delegate this part of the YouTube because it's I have to watch 15 minute videos. If I get back to the editor about how it looks, I think what's gonna be working best is probably giving the account to someone and having them like look at the video and even upload the entire thing. I think I think what makes most sense is having someone auditing the video, making sure it looks good. Like I get some notes, hey, we gotta just blur this part and whatnot. Like is there someone's address that shows we're gonna we're gonna fix all that up so we could take this out because like man, i've been busy i can't be doing this there's probably a bit more important things to get done not that youtube's not important it's that so i think someone else could audit this so that's the first thing the second thing is in the mornings waking up early makes me makes me want to like maybe read a book i might go on a walk before i go on a job site today Lerick and andrew are going back to the same job site so they're just gonna pretty much start themselves up. The second team, Andres and Alex, start at 8 a.m. So I have about an hour and a half to work on admin. And also, it helps me be like kind of awake because I sound like this in front of my team sometimes. That's not motivating. When I'm gonna show up, it's gonna be because I've been up for two hours, probably got some food in my system, and I'm ready to crush it. So uh, really excited for, we're doing the production schedule right now and it's looking like if everything goes as planned, we could literally produce $30,000 with two teams. That is unheard of. Okay, that's pretty insane. I think the stars has to kind of align with the weather because it looks like it's going to be very nice, which I'm really happy about, but it still has to be very, very good weather-wise. We're going to see what, what comes out of this. So talk to you guys soon. Take care. Good morning, YouTube. Andreas, say hi. Hi, guys. Alex, the new hat. <laughs> We're sanding it. You can look good sanding. And then we're going to put the same stain as last time on the deck so it's a quick pat sand and two coats of stain let's get it this is all stained half done we're staining arco show us how you're doing it there you go awesome after we stain it looks really really solid yeah this one was stained recently all brushed alex we share the same name let's see if we share the same skills here it's beautiful man awesome what's up guys so a little bit out of breath i'm running back to the job site to see andrus and alex and their progress we might have booked roughly around 1800 dollars from literally walking in the streets basically that's why i have my client manual here i had a client who needed to get the work done around the area i went literally just knocking i gotta do this project for you I'm like okay give me a quote this afternoon and we'll do a proper quote showed her my references took down the measurements and uh, we might have booked her and her neighbor because we were do together. It's awesome to think we're painting a project right there. I just booked two projects, two decks, out of just speaking with people. There's work to be had there, guys. Go knocking. Let's have some fun. Whew. What is up, YouTube? So Thursday, 1 p.m. We have one team running today because this morning was raining a lot. So my second team's off. Tomorrow, they're going to be working. We're going to be washing some decks together. So pretty cool. Now for today while my first team was getting set up uh, we had a meeting we had a few meetings and now i'm sure we got something really quick right there we've been buying a bunch of paint 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 yeah we got like three jobs worth of paint and i had to go to the two stores to get all the paint for it because there was just not there was, there's a shortage right so and now i just want to show you guys around the car so sales stuff right here receipts whatever i get gets put in there close that up at the end of the day, I just take all those receipts and toss them in the uh, organizing box for receipts. And yeah, we got, we got this for GPS. Pretty simple day. We're going to go to Laval and get some other gallons. But it's we got a lot of work next week. And I don't want to be running after a stain next week. Because the problem with next week is the projects are massive. And we're going to be running a lot of job sites. If I have a day where I only have one team running and it's a very delegated team, that's what we want. You know, When I get home, we're going to organize all this. So catch you guys to it let's get it what is up guys so friday morning sorry mood was a bit down there so basically we're we're in dorval right now montreal uh near the water so beautiful it is near the water we have a project this was actually a project that I had booked with sam in one of the videos in one of the earlier videos it was, a, it was a blue house sam also had another project which was this client named jean rené basically jean and glenn here have full exterior projects before we paint an entire exterior it is usually recommended to wash the entire siding. It is raining and we're going to be washing siding today. So I have Andres and Alex. They're going to be washing it. So I, got, I brought my pressure washer. I have my ladder there. And yeah, we're going to be washing the siding. Today is pretty much just going to be a quick, uh, quick, uh, quick job. Just trying to wash the siding, making it look clean. So that next week we can start painting the siding. Simple day. We're going to get really wet today. But uh, yeah, I'm excited. Let's get it. So 
we are cleaning all that dirt yeah so a little quick update so we washed the side and it's already kind of drying but like it's much cleaner all the gunk is off some chipping came off too i think it's time for me to say goodbye to these shoes i've been stepping in mud water foot is completely drenched right now so um, unless i tape it with duct tape i'm gonna be getting a new pair of shoes so let's get it What is up guys so looking a bit different it's still friday it's 4 45 and we we booked two pendings and i'm i'm booking a third one now and i'm gonna book a fourth one basically we're doing a project on the street it was the the, the brown semi-stained deck i came knocking on a door here that was that was wanting an estimate and that one lead led to five more projects you had jose mona michael anthony elizabeth like can't ask for better and the way it worked is the neighbors all share the same patio and they all want to get it done i just took advantage and booked them all in it, it's just word of mouth it just it just goes and goes and goes really excited to get this done for them so i'm writing up the 12 the, the next one they're roughly about 1200 each quick sell a quick project to produce so really happy let's get it what is up guys let me show you guys what we booked one two three four five and there's one in the back six and seven eight nine we got a lot of people booked here it just comes to show that like you you can, you can impress people before you even produce the work and that, that comes from your professionalism your communication kind of your mannerisms and have an impact on people because like I, I these people just referred me to their neighbors just because of how i treated them at the estimate sometimes it's how i like he told me that i look really sharp you know some people come and they're all dirty i kind of i try to do my best and i'm dressed up we got a lot of jobs here we're gonna put that in simon so let's get it what is up everyone so saturday morning and we're probably at the biggest estimate i've ever been at in my entire life we had done a job last year for twenty seven thousand dollars that one was really really big like we spent two weeks we we're we're actually around six to eight painters me and my production manager too but this time i think we're gonna be able to have a bigger project and it's this one right here all of the balconies balcony 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 for this entire building all of this i think there's four of these it's literally it's literally all metal we're gonna meet the client and write him a massive proposal make it look juicy and try to book this one it's gonna be an august production guaranteed of this building it's just massive so let's get it some organization we got michael here michael so michael just stay in the deck we're sunday so he's staying the deck in the beautiful weather now we're just organizing every bin i have all the crew kits and everything gotta get reorganized and because it's color code it's gonna go really fast and then i'm gonna organize this garage that's what's left here any final thoughts mike uh, no not really <laughs> <laughs> that's it you're just very hungry let's get it what is up guys so we're gonna do a re recap we're monday and uh, recap for last week. We produced a lot of work. I think we produced roughly around $12,000. That's awesome. I think that puts us at like around twenty dollars to $25,000 in produced work already, which is, uh, it's pretty sick to think that like, that's just uh, one fifth of my business is already painted. We sold roughly around 11,000. 11,000 and we went, went eight for nine estimates. And uh, yeah, it was a very productive week, which puts our business at around 125, 127 range. I'm happy about that. Thomas is I think 2K short from hitting $100,000 in sales. And I know Max is producing like a beast. So really proud of my team too. Right now we're cleaning this house. Um, it's really great. Catch you guys to it. Good luck and let's have some fun. Let's get it.